Is General Electric finally in recovery mode after years of decline and could this be one of the value stocks that turns into a growth stock? General Electric has been in the news a lot lately, mostly because it retrenched half of its US workforce in the last three years. But that does not paint the full picture. In fact, GE is showing signs of major recovery. And if anything, the fundamentals are painting a very interesting picture. So let's jump in and let's take a look at the fundamentals driving the GE stock. Before we continue, please do me a huge favor and hit the like button below this video now. This helps me rank these videos on YouTube and every single like really does help me. So please, please click on that like button now. So let's jump into the GE shares and see exactly what's going on in the actual financials. So the share is currently trading at 11.73 and we can see there is a market cap of 102.753 billion. We can also see that there is a PE ratio of 20. What I like to do is also go and have a look at the profit margin and as we can see profit margin 7.16%. Also like to have a look at the actual dividend and dividend history and we can see that currently paying out 0.04% dividend yield of 03 and then if we go and have a look at the actual balance sheet what I'm always looking for is a company that is asset strong where the assets are far greater than liability giving some kind of decent equity and that certainly is the case here what's really really great to see is even though they have you know had some challenging years uh, they have definitely increased their equity in the last trailing 12 months so that's a really good sign and then if we head across and have a look at the income statement uh, what i specifically like to look at here is total revenue and gross profit and specifically what i'd like to see is consistency over the last three years and specifically an upward uh, consistent trend unfortunately it's a little bit all over the show but there are some signs of life and that is really really positive then the next thing I like to do is go and have a look at the operating cash flow. Specifically, we want to see what the company is earning of its core business activities. As we can see, big drop off from 2017 to 2018 and then a big jump back up in 2019. So lots of signs of life in the company, uh, lots of interesting little things that are really tweaking my interest around the share at the moment. And then the other thing I like to have a look at is I always like to visit the balance sheet and have a look at the number of shares. And specifically what I like to see is that the number of shares issued is actually going down. And what that usually indicates for me is a very strong sign from within the company that they have confidence in with themselves and that they're actually purchasing back some of their shares. Um, and that certainly seems to be the case here. Uh, three consistent years of them slowly but surely uh, reducing the number of outstanding shares. So those are all very, very positive signs. Now, as you guys know, if you've been following the channel, uh, I have a 12 point checklist that I go by in order to value shares, see if there is any long term prospect in them. And then if that fails me, then I turn to outside uh, market factors other than the off the balance sheet factors and see if there is any reason to invest in the share. So my 12 point checklist on GE, PE ratio is below 25, so they score on that front. Uh, the profit margin is just below 10%, so unfortunately they don't meet the criteria there. However, assets are greater than liabilities. The total revenue is not up for more than three years in a row consistently. However, gross profit is up, operating income is up, and net income is up. Those are all really good signs. And then cash from operating activities, unfortunately, is not showing consistency over the last three years. However, it is up in the last trailing 12 months. However, on this sheet, we have to mark them down. And then in terms of free cash flow growth, that is up three consecutive years and number of outstanding shares has been going down for three years consecutively. Really, really positive sign. And then if we have a look at the dividend cost, it is in fact lower than free cash flow. You can see market cap here of 102.75 billion. We can see that there is a dividend yield of 0 0.04 and that would give them about a 400 million dividend payout and obviously free cash flow was 
2.70 billion so way 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 ahead on free cash flow and that's a really positive sign um, what I also love about the stock at the moment is uh, it's it's it has strong fundamentals and there's a lot of areas that are showing recovery um, and this is very much in line with what's happening uh, in terms of the company restructuring uh, focus on greener and renewable uh, markets and then obviously uh, change of management and a whole new structure coming in really just breathing life into this company something that's really interesting if we go back and look at the graphing we can see that the share came off a high of 55.59 and we're currently sitting at 11.73 so i certainly believe that this company has got a lot of legs to grow i believe it's going to claw its way back up to the top and it is a behemoth of a company and if it can turn itself around this stock could be worth some serious money on my buy score i've got 66 percent i've got a sell score of 33 percent so for me this is definitely a proposition in fact this is one of those stocks where you actually can go ahead and speculate on the stock and the worst that's going to happen is your money's going to stay the same there isn't really a huge potential to lose money on the stock um, the likelihood of this falling much lower is very, very, very slim. And GE has been in recovery for years. And I really believe that in the next couple of years, GE's stock price is going to soar as they get themselves right. They get the management structures right. They get the market execution right. So for me, GE is going to become part of my portfolio. And uh, definitely, I'm giving this one a thumbs up. Before you go, one last thing. On this channel, we discuss all money related issues, including saving, investing and wealth creation. And I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. In fact, I'm going to give you a flat out bribe to get your subscription. Every month, I'm going to be giving away a signed copy of my book, The Money Secret, along with a branded channel cap to one of my active subscribers. And I'll ship this to you anywhere in the world. Absolutely free. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button now and click the bell icon to turn on all notifications for our channel and then leave me a comment below this video. I'd really appreciate your subscription and I look forward to you joining our tribe.